Eric Erickson's Ego Integrity Versus Despair stage. Now, Erickson, when he developed it, psychologist Eric Erickson, when he developed it, he said people go through this in the 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, but gosh, people are living a lot longer now, so I think it may be pushed back. But the idea is that everybody looks at their life, and they do a life review, and they say to themselves, how's everything gone so far? Have I accomplished what I want? What's my life been like? What I set out to do? Did I succeed? Did I fail? If I wanted to travel, did I travel? If I wanted to earn a degree, did I do that? If I wanted children, did I do that? And the issue that Erickson comes down to is that if I come to a point where I say, you know, mostly I had a good life. Things have went well. They went the way I planned. I feel good about the way my life has gone. Then we find ourselves in integrity, which means that we're going to be more prepared to die with peace. And we're going to be less apt to have angst. Not to say that anybody is, truly wants to die uh, in their 60s when he created this, but th th there'd be more peace. But somebody who says, gosh, I never traveled, or I wanted children, I never had them, or I never got to go to college because my parents wouldn't pay for it, or uh, I ha always had lousy jobs, or I, I was married three times and to all lousy people. If that's your attitude, and if that's how you're looking back on your life, you're more apt to be in despair, which can lead to depression, and which can lead to a lot of challenges at the end of life. It can lead somebody to really feel like they didn't, didn't get what they wanted, that they didn't contribute meaningfully. And so you might have two women. Let's just say two women are from right here uh, in the, on the Eastern Shore, and they both are 80 years old. And they both have grown up, neither went to college, both stayed home with their children, both had two kids, both got married in their 20s. And one woman is dying with integrity and one is dying with despair. And what's the reason? What's the outlook? Almost identical lives. What's the outlook? Similar incomes, lived in a similar area, had same amount of children, both had marriages that lasted, got married in their 20s, both were homemakers. What's the difference? Why was one in integrity and one in despair? It's the, yeah, one, of the, it's the, one might be happy being a homemaker, one might have had big dreams of doing other things. One might have said, oh, I, I really wanted to have two children, and the other said, oh, gosh, the only reason I had kids is because that's what was expected in my generation. So it's the perspective. It's the perspective of the person. And you, you can really look at two people who have very similar backgrounds, very similar lives, but the way they perceive it, is that what they really wanted for themselves? Is that what they were really expecting for their life? And that can contribute to how we look at death. Am I ready to die?